1928, uh, Joseph and Baker made their first European tour through some cities in Europe and uh, first he came to Prague and there was a, 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 a very big crowd and uh, she really uh, trampled down but the people in Prague, uh, they were enthusiastic. Um, it was all fun and nice and then she came to Vienna. And when, when she came to Vienna, all the bells in the churches were ringing because now the devil is on the borders. And they put out some sheets like this, a uh, flyer we would say today, uh, where uh, the people here, the uh, politically, but uh, in uh, the, the, <coughs> the church people warned for this strange artist, maybe with some uh, dark color too. So Vienna was never guessed. It. Vienna was like up with the crosses. The Antichrist is coming. And uh, a little bit I get this feeling when I'm with uh, uh, artists, uh, they come from foreign lands uh, to Vienna to make a show. There was a big show of Hungarian uh, artists, painters in uh, the Wittgenstein house, in the Kumpangasse, here in the vicinity. And uh, I think it was about three or four Viennese people showed up. The rest were Hungarians coming from Budapest to see the show of Hungarian artists in Vienna. And this is like the same here. Here are especially Slovakian artists uh, on show. And uh, when uh, Michael and Miroslav started the thing, they thought maybe the Viennese people will be more interested in what's going on in the neighborhood, what artists are doing there, but as you can see, <laughs> it's like with Joseph and Baker, okay, they don't ring the bells and uh, they don't exercise ex uh, exercises us anymore, but uh, this is uh, the situation in Vienna and this is my first question, but before I start with the question, I ask the artist uh, please uh, to introduce themselves and uh, for some minutes with their work. My name is Bettina Schulke. I'm uh, based in Vienna. I had been working for many, many years abroad, mainly in Scandinavia, Scandinavian countries. In 2017, I made my doctorate, I doctorated at the University of Lapland, uh, which was an artistic uh, practice-based research. And um, it was about uh, how our visual, um, ex visual uh, expression is um, changing through the influence of the digital media. So I think this is also one of the questions we might talk later on. Um, but uh, basically, nowadays I'm working, uh, I'm based in Vienna. I'm, uh, on the other hand, I'm working uh, still on, on different projects abroad. For example, currently I'm preparing a project for 2021, which will be taking place in uh, Canada which is called the Secret Language Project. It's about, well, I don't tell you, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm working on the intersection of art, science, and technology. So keep it short. <laughs> it's not easy to say all these few words. <laughs> but but my, uh, mostly I, I, uh, I'm working with the human body because I think this is the most eye-touching for me, for most uh, of the expression and uh, uh, most working as a mirror. Uh, but you mirror. work uh, in, in, in Slovakia or do you live? Yeah, and I live in, the, in Bratislava. I'm yeah. born in Bratislava. I'm a family with a big idea of that. 
sometimes everywhere. <laughs> and um, I work a lot of with um, with the space, with the uh, photography, painting, sculpture, installation. Um, maybe I, I I I can show you the maybe most. Uh, uh, this is my Sado magazine because Sado, my name is Sado, was a car. Look, it's uh, something like joke, you <laughs> know, with this. And uh, it's a review because I, I am thinking not a lot of. Uh, because uh, in Slovakia people don't like uh, to go too much to the gallery, especially the contemporary art gallery. Then I would like to make something uh, to bring the contemporary art to the people. Then I built a platform of magazine, uh, women magazine. Yeah, it means it's really distributed as a as a, as a women magazine. You know, with publicity, with everything. Yeah, <laughs> that is, yeah, that is something uh, what I make uh, also with photo and, and, so, and performance. Do you make this thing alone? Or do you have With my husband. Ah, okay. <laughs> 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 okay. <Yes. laughs> the first was a big idea. I find a lot of sponsors. Ah, and there was all of you for a sponsor. Okay. And you know, uh, because I'm working in the photograph and I ask a different curators uh, to, to make. Uh, and then for the, uh, always the first page is the curator text. Mm -hmm. Because I think the first page of, of the first page of the cover page in the women magazine is like that is poem. <laughs> then I say uh, has to be one number and one strong. <laughs> strong speed, yeah. This is uh, joy of art. Yeah. Maybe it's the most presented myself. This format, and you can. Well, so I just continue on Thomas um, I'm conceptual artist in the first term, um, with a background uh, studying architecture, coming to media arts, and now I'm doing a lot uh, for many years uh, in, in the field of performance, uh, theater, as a director, and also stage design. Um, from my genealogy, I seem to somehow <laughs> connect uh, the two positions, because I'm, I'm born in Stockholm, in Sweden. And um, um, uh, came to Vienna in quite early years, um, but lived in Berlin and Amsterdam and other places, and back in Vienna again now. Um, so, but I have a so I'm, I'm Swedish, but I have a Czech name. Uh, my ancestors uh, came from from Brno, um, but unfortunately, as I came grew up in Sweden and then came to Vienna. Uh, my mother said uh, you should not learn uh, a second language because you have to go to school and you have to learn German first. And so um, until I was uh, in the eyes of my mother far enough to also learn Czech or Slovakian it was for, at this time uh, language, uh, my aunt who was uh, fluently speaking it uh, died. So I never really got into it except on Pivo and Prosim and stuff like that. <laughs> so, so um, which is really like uh, something I'm still carrying around because I'm always with it. I, I, I think I speak better Italian, French, and, and Russian than, than Czech and Slovakian. <laughs> Although, I, of course, I understand it, it's familiar, but we cannot talk. So, uh, talking about uh, being neighbors and having difficulties in, in communication. And as we're going to talk about arts here, art. For, to me, has a lot to do with what is communication. So, uh, sorry. yeah, that's okay. That would be my first question. What brings an artist in one with international uh, networks to Vienna? Uh, Vienna never was really an art city. Is it now, or why do you work here? Well, my, actually, my roots are from Austria. So I'm not, you know, I, I did the opposite way. I was born in Austria, in Lower Austria, I was living in Vienna, I was studying in Vienna, and then I went abroad. And then after, you know, spending my life here and there and there and there and there, like many people do nowadays, um, I returned to Vienna. The big question is why? 
um, suddenly people recognized uh, internationally that there is also another scene than, <laughs> than the Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, but um, so since then, uh, at least in the music field, uh, the art international uh, scene is taking Vienna a little bit more serious. But actually, in numbers, I have the feeling that there are lots more uh, interesting artists here than in several other cities. You have people from from all over the world, yes, Chinese and Italian and Brazilian people, and and not just because the academies are so. Good. They are not so good, I have to say, <laughs> but the people are good. <laughs> so that, uh, I think there is lots of really interesting arts uh, in Vienna, although the system is so backwards and strange. No, it's like um, so, uh, and it's so much things happening. Um, it's a question how the media is focusing on the stuff because the the, the culture pages in the Austrian newspapers are, you know. Uh, just one. <laughs> if you compare this to just the uh, 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 Süddeutsche Zeitung, for example, they have like a whole portfolio. <laughs> you compare it to Austrian newspapers, and so there, the economy and the economy of, of uh, interest is 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 strange here. That's true. On the other hand, um, because it's so difficult to to get um, attention, <laughs> um, the art is sometimes also very good. I mean, in the moment, uh, Austrian or especially Viennese artists, it doesn't matter which kind of uh, origin they have, um, after like five years struggling in Vienna to get the things through, and then they suddenly get the exhibition or a performance in Berlin or in, in I don't know, Paris or something, and suddenly it's like, wow, it's a thing. This comes from Vienna? I didn't know that you do things like that. I've heard this a thousand times in my life. <laughs> And uh, just a little example, as I'm doing lots of, of, of performing arts, and I'm also the drama, chief dramaturg and the founder of Liquid Love, which is a dance company, with the only one which is touring with the other. And then we were at uh, just one uh, festival. Um, we came there, um, and we got, I think, uh, to make it in numbers, 2,500 euros from the Austrian embassy uh, for travel expenses. And then uh, uh, a British, I don't Say any names. A British, British company came with two trucks, and they had huge affiches in the yeah. whole city because they were supported by the British uh, Arts Council. Wow. And and they said, yeah, we didn't have much money, but when we got the invitation, they called us and said, you give money because the British, British flag has to be there, and we were standing there. <laughs> I don't think we were we were not as good as they, but we had no chance because uh, the the policies, the culture policies. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's so strange. And also, uh, in, in terms of, um, because I know that there's a little bit, little bit of politics on the agenda of our discussion, I just take it for, for now that there is a very strange um, um, worldview in this city. On one hand, the, the, the polit political entities say, well, Vienna is the best city in the world, da, 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 da. at the same time, if they want, they have no confidence in the Austrian, or in the Vienna, not the Austrian. Vienna is not Austrian, no? it's a completely different thing. Uh, in the Viennese scene. Because it's always when they need somebody to take over something, they, they have to take somebody from abroad. They are not, uh, which would not happen in London or in Paris. I, I mean, the, the, the self confidence is very small, at the same time, uh, it's too big. So there is a big, mis a strange. Uh, uh, yes. 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 <laughs> somehow, and this is what you have to fight with uh, uh, being a producing artist in, in Vienna, whatever kind of. Mm -hmm. Have you had some other uh, experience uh, with Vienna, with the Vienna art scene? You was on a big uh, canvas uh, on the ring tour. How did this game? In the ring tour, this was, I, I think, it, uh, a little bit like the pop. Of face of me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You show it. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah very fun. Yeah. So it was during a summer. Was this yeah. on the? Uh, I at the, but at the first was best, much more better this one, but they refuse it. Okay. It was idea about the uh, yeah as a Freud and etc. and the yeah. city yeah, yeah. <laughs> and but they refuse it.